Um, but... Oh, it... Now you're probably wondering, what is in this big case? Well, let me, let me bring you closer. So this is what's inside the box. It is, as you can see, it's a drone, you know, with the pot or the pellets here. But it is a PYS F181 RC quadcopter. It records in full 720, 720, uh, 720p HD. Um, it's used by Wi-Fi. So you're basically just gonna connect it to a phone or a tablet. Um, it's both for Android and uh, iOS. Um, but this is by who you you see. I don't really know how to pronounce it. I got this off of Amazon. Uh, I believe it's eighty dollars. I'll put a link in the description down below if you wanted to check it out. But this is basically it. This is the first time I'm actually opening this thing, so it's just gonna be a little bit of an unboxing. Uh, this is the first thing that I've noticed besides the RC. Um, so this is the first thing I noticed. It looks just like a PlayStation controller. Uh, it's just that the buttons and the analog are switched. Because um, usually you would have, you know, you, you know what a PlayStation controller looks like. Uh, but the first thing I noticed about this is that it's very light. I feel like if I were to throw this across the room, like just heave it across the room and chug it, it would break. Uh, it's kind of light. Uh, the, and I believe this right here is the mount holder, which is right here. This is the mount holder for, I'm guessing, just your phone. Does it extend? Uh, it extends, but I feel like this is only going to be for your phone. I don't really think it's going to be for a tablet. As you can see, it's not really extending as much as you thought it might be. Um, but it just goes in there, clicks right away, and you can use this to turn it up and down so that's the controller um, this is the drone itself it also feels plasticky as well um, like I said if I, I feel like if I threw this across the room it's not really gonna survive but it's a pretty small drone these are my hands right here compared to the drone I don't really my hands aren't that big I'm about five six so my hands aren't that huge uh, it covers most of the drone so it's not that uh, it's kind of small uh, I'm guessing this is where the camera's at. This is the camera right here. And this, let's see if I pull this real quick. Uh, this is where the battery is located. Um, I feel like it's gonna be a struggle to take it out and put it in, but uh, we'll put go through some tests and see how that goes. Yeah, it's already hard to put it in already. Lock that in. But yeah, this is the quadcopter. Okay, um, this is the propellers, extra propellers, extra propellers, and a little screwdriver to help you with that. I believe this USB right here is to charge the batteries. Uh, you just put this in to like a power outlet that you would use for like your phones and stuff, and then just use this to plug into the battery. Um, this silver casing right here is a lipo. I don't know. Open it up. Uh, this is where you're going to find the extra batteries, extra cables to plug it in. And this is where the charging outlet comes. Or this is where the charger is. Um, let me open this real quick. So here is the other ports for you to plug in the cables to the end. And this is where you would plug in the USB right here. The small little hole right there. And I guess you can charge all four batteries that you receive through the uh, package. So that's useful. You don't have to wait for one battery to charge all the way and then get the other one going. Uh, these look like they're the parts that you would put on the drone propellers. So they, if they hit something, they won't fly off, but I mean they give you extra propellers anyway. I don't know what these are for. <laughs> They're probably for the bottom, so when it lands, it can just land properly. Yeah, these look like they would be on the bottom of the, the drone. 
And right here we have an instruction manual of how to connect it to the Wi-Fi. This is the guide for the drone. This is the way to fly the drone. And this is the instruction manual. So what I'm about to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna charge the batteries right now, get them all fully charged to see how the drone flies, and uh, put all the protection propellers and everything else that belongs to it, get it connected to my phone, and take flight in a bit. So I'll be back. First thing I want to mention before I start flying this thing is I've never flown a drone before. I've never ever owned a drone before. I've never borrowed a drone. And I've basically just never had a drone before. So I just turned on the drone. Hopefully I figured this out. It says that I can just use my phone instead of using the controller. And hopefully that does happen. But we're gonna if it really does work like that. I've never flown a drone before, so. You know, this is like drones for dummies or beginner for dummies or something like that. Oh! All right, I got it to work. <laughs> uh, that was kind of confusing. Uh, but, oh. It... Um. <laughs> All right. I really want to take this outside, but it's windy. Uh, let me see if this works. <laughs> so as you see here, um, you gotta press this up and down button. That's right there. And then it'll turn red. And then you press this height, or the H button, and then it'll lift up. Like it'll go into a flight. You just have to Use this to push it up. Push it up. So after testing for a while, uh, this is actually pretty fun to fly. Uh, I wouldn't say it's good for photography or video or stuff like that because I mean it is 720. Um, I'm gonna show a little bit of a clip here uh, of what the 720 actually looks like or what the video looks like and what the picture actually looks like. You know, it's it's blurry. It's not the greatest. Everything's all bright. You know, but I mean it's. 80 bucks okay this 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 right here this this spider web looking drone right here or spider looking drone right here is only it's 80 dollars on amazon um and honestly it's not that bad it, it, it's honestly really fun to fly okay don't fly it when it's windy outside though because it was starting to take it everywhere in the backyard uh, i didn't show that part i was scared that it was gonna fly somewhere else i was too focused on on this um but it's actually very durable. It crashed. I was flying it inside, crashed a lot of times, as I show another clip here. It crashed a lot on the walls, on the ceiling and everything, and it still flies very well. The propellers are, you know, they're plastic, they're cheap, and they look like they're starting to have some wear and tear on them, um, but not as much, and that's, it's a good thing that they give you extra propellers for it. Oh God, I had to check if my mic was working. Okay, um, it, it doesn't really hold, hold altitude as much as I thought it would um, it keeps going back I'm trying to figure out how to do that or how to fix it um, but so far I haven't found uh, a solution um, the other thing is the camera that you see here you can actually rotate it to go up and down or just a little bit I guess see so you can go up a little bit um, but it won't go like completely down so you won't have like an aerial view from up top oh I didn't get it to three 360 roll you know when it does this um, it says it has to be two meters in the air, which is about six feet. I tried it, but since it's windy outside, I can't really get it to do it. Also, it's, I mean, I don't really, wouldn't really think of this as an outside toy unless you have a lot of room, like a, up at a park or something. But it's really fun to fly. I can't get enough of it. Another thing about it is the battery. The battery, I feel like, only lasts five minutes. So in total, you have four batteries, 
you know, five minutes each, about 20 minutes of flight, but you would have to, you know, get it to come back down, change the battery, and then put it back into flight. So you can't really get uh, the aerial shot that you need or that you want. It's it's really fun to fly. Like this is my first time having a drone. Like I said, I, I haven't, I've never owned a drone. It's the first time I've ever I've, I've, that I've had a drone, and it's really fun to fly. Um, I don't know what the point of this is. Um, I didn't need the controller at all. I just controlled it from my phone, which is good. You know, you don't have to carry the controller around. Uh, you know, if you guys wanted to purchase this, um, it's eighty dollars for it. Um, you know, most drones are really expensive. Uh, but 80 bucks, I'll put a uh, link in the description down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It shows that people actually do watch my videos and they actually do like the content that I'm putting out. And if you want to watch more videos, just subscribe to my channel. You know, it's free. It's down in the description. It's right next to my head. No, it's actually on the left side of my head. Uh, somewhere around there, just subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a good day. I think I'm going to fly this a little bit more. Oh, God! No, no!